Hello everyone, this is Colin at Target Sports, Pro Shop for Shooters and Hunters. So today we're joined by Steve, my father. Um, he is a relatively local expert on big game hunting. And if you've ever been to the shop where you can look behind us, you see that we're all about big bucks. So dad's got 50 plus years, give or take, uh, big game hunting, whether it's in New York State, uh, throughout the country, he's been all over the place. So um, dad, today we had a guy come in, never hunted anything before, getting his hunter safety course, wants to start. What's one of the first things gear wise that he's going to want to have? Well, it's a good question, Colin. So, you know, the firearm is, is going to be uh, one of the very first things, you know, d determining which firearm you want and which one's appropriate for you. Um, we're more than happy to help people with that. We've got a lot of experience and a lot of choices and we can make great recommendations. So shotgun versus rifle. I'm, I'm a big proponent for going with a shotgun because you could do anything with it as far as home defense, you know, big game or waterfowl. Well, if you're going to own one gun, then the shotgun is the way to go. If you are specifically looking for something for deer hunting, if, if uh, rifles are allowed in the area where you're going to hunt, in my opinion, a rifle is the uh, best way to go because it's the most effective, the most accurate, and gets the job done most efficiently. Awesome. Very cool. So most of the counties in our area have converted over to rifle, which is a cool fact. So now we've decided that the gun is an important thing to have. Ammo. What's, what's one of the better calibers that we should consider? Well, that's another good question. So that conversation comes up constantly in the store, and I, I've, I've told people that if I ask 20 experienced deer hunters in New York what their favorite caliber is, I might have uh, 15 or 20 different answers, and most of them are all good answers. There are many, many good calibers out there. We get some people that come in and they have it in their mind that, that only one is going to work, but there are many really good calibers. Uh, we're very knowledgeable here about ballistics and uh, which calibers will get the job done. You just want to make sure for whitetail hunting that you have uh, enough gun, a big enough bullet, but you know, you don't have to go crazy either. We have people that want, uh, you know, big magnums that are totally unnecessary. And I also hear people constantly saying, I want a big heavy bullet because I want it to go through and bust through the brush. And I can promise you that any bullet, if it hits brush, is going to deflect. So that's a myth thinking that if you're shooting a big, big, heavy projectile, that it's going to bust right through the brush. Mm -hmm. Nice. So Jack O'Connor, a great outdoor writer, said that he could kill anything in North America with a 270. That's a pretty good, pretty good caliber to go to. Everybody really graduates or gravitates, I'm sorry, to the uh, the 308 because it's a NATO military cartridge. So there's lots of it around surplus, and there's many, many hunting and recreation available uh, out there as well. So that's you know two different calibers, really, really popular, really nice. Um, give me two other things that are really important for somebody looking to get into the woods. They should always bring with them. Well, one of the most important things is to, uh, is to not necessarily bring with you, but if you know, you're going to get a, a weapon, whether it be a, f a rifle or a shotgun, uh, become proficient with it. Understand how it works. Practice. Make sure uh, you know your gun. Uh, I just recently came back from a hunt and had the good fortune of being able to harvest a great buck that the hunter that was on the trip before me um, got all excited, forgot to chamber around in the rifle, and uh, blew his opportunity at shooting this deer because he he got rattled and he maybe wasn't familiar with his rifle. So um, familiarize yourself with your equipment, practice, become very proficient at it, and you will increase your odds of being successful. So skills and knowledge are probably the other two most important things to bring with us in yep. the field. Excellent. Um, so again, if you're looking to get into hunting, you've got family members or friends that are looking to get into hunting, shooting, we are the pro shop for shooters and hunters. Please step by and feel free to talk to us. There is no bad question. Um, so again, shoot straight. Thanks, Bob. You bet. Oh,